And Palo Alto Mayor Liz Niss says she's feeling inspired and vulnerable after revealing that she is a survivor of sexual assault. She hopes her story will help others. I've only told one person ever. Palo Alto Mayor Liz Niss is revealing a personal secret she's only shared with her sister, that she is a survivor of sexual assault. Somewhat liberating, but it's also somewhat frightening. Niss says she was assaulted twice in the 1960s, the first time when she was a teenager, getting a ride home from a party with a friend. He decided to take a shortcut home, which turned into uh, an assault, a really unpleasant assault. The second assault happened years later when she was attacked by a co-worker at a hotel. Both times, Niss says she got away and narrowly escaped being raped. Both times uh, caught totally off guard. She didn't report the incidents to police because she was scared. Okay, Mayor Niss says she was inspired to tell her story because of Dr. Christine Blasey Ford and her sexual assault claim against Judge Brett Kavanaugh. I thought if this can help anybody, if anyone else is willing to come forward, if we could start some kind of movement that says this has happened to women. Activists have been rallying in support of Dr. Blasey Ford all week. These people were making signs for a solidarity vigil in her hometown of Palo Alto on Sunday. Just days before Kavanaugh and Ford will testify in Washington, the mayor knows people will ask about the timing of her Me Too revelation. Why did she come out now? And um, is she trying to influence what's happening in Washington? And I am trying to influence what's happening in Washington, no question. The mayor says she hopes Judge Kavanaugh is not confirmed to the high court. Today, she says she's heard from friends and colleagues about coming forward with her story. She says all the feedback has been positive.